What's going on everybody and welcome to another update thing. Um, I wanted to bring you guys back because uh, I took an extra week off. I think it's been two weeks since I posted a video. So I wanted to bring you back and say welcome back. I'm back. And okay, so it's been a really tough three months for me. I'm not going to get into all the details because I really don't think it's necessary. But um, let's go through the Coles multiversion of what's happened. So. Uh, first and foremost, got myself a brand new house. Uh, I ended up closing the deal just around Christmas. Uh, it was actually Christmas Eve. And that was sort of the finalizing of it. It took a little bit longer after that, but that was the end of that. Um, I had Christmas, and that was fantastic with family. Went and saw all my family, like, um, you know, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, and all those wonderful, awesome people. Uh, and then come Boxing Day, I ended up breaking up with my girlfriend, and, uh, yeah, some just weird stuff happened there. Not the greatest situation, but all in all, it is done, it is over with, and, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with her. She is a phenomenal human being, and I absolutely wish her the best in everything she does. Um, you know, some, th some things just aren't meant to be, so that's where I'm gonna leave that. Uh, so fast forward, we got New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, all that fun stuff. Um, I went through um, a whole bunch of crap that was just going on with the house. And some of you guys, if you've uh, watched any of the Fallout Shelter, that kind of tends to be my talkie episodes where I kind of fill you in on what's going on. Um, long and short, when it came to the house, there was a tenant living in the house uh, when I bought it and uh, closed the deal for a substantial amount less, uh, but the guy wasn't leaving. He was supposed to leave on February 29th. By the 6th, when I was supposed to move in, he was still there. Uh, he ended up not moving out until the 8th, which is the Sunday. I ended up moving in uh, Monday the 9th, uh, I think about 1, maybe 2 p.m. And from Monday until Wednesday, uh, we went nuts and we painted the entire upstairs floor. So we did both bedrooms and the living room in a three day span while we cleaned and disinfected the entire house. And then we had the movers come in on Wednesday. And then everything was here, we finished painting, we started organizing, and by we, it's my family, me, my mom, my dad, my sister, her two kids. Uh, my sister's hus ex-husband came by, he helped out with the bathroom flooring. Uh, and then at the end of my supposed vacation, um, the Sunday, which was I think the 16th or something like that, I ended up going in to uh, just check the water shut off for the sink and I was going to do a little bit of work on putting in a vanity in the bathroom. And when I turned the shut off off, it didn't shut off, it sprayed everywhere. So needless to say, that Sunday I hadn't even planned on doing the, bath the bathroom at all, but I ended up getting the vanity done, the toilet done, the floor done, the painting done. Uh, last thing to do in there is going to be the tub surround and the uh, baseboards. So all that's been going on and then over the last week um, from whatever it be the 23rd-ish until yesterday. Uh, I had an old friend of mine come by, I hadn't seen her in, believe it or not, 15 years and just had a phenomenal week with her, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, we had such a great time catching up, talking about the old times, the, the bad times, the good times, the things that we had done over the last 15 years and uh, really, really, truly enjoyed that. And then I thought, okay, I got to jump back into some of this recording stuff because the, the whole coronavirus thing is going on. But the problem with that is I am one of the frontline workers. Uh, for those that don't know, I work in an addictions facility for men and uh, it's, we, we can't send guys away, right? If we close down, guys are homeless, they go to prison, um, stuff happens. So we are one of the ones that is actually still open. We got about 15 clients and probably about 10 employees. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm interacting with around 25 different people. And uh, the problem with that is because of those interactions, I don't interact with anybody outside of my own life because I don't want to jeopardize them. 
uh, such as my parents, my sister, her kids, and anyone that's close to me, any of my friends, because again, I'm in contact with so many different people, you just never know who is in contact with what, and if they're being as diligent as you. Uh, so I've been sort of self-isolating, but in the same breath, I've been working on the house and doing a whole bunch of other stuff, and that's why I took the extra week off. So moving forward, you are going to see videos. The only problem is, is I don't know what my work looks like. Uh, because at any given point, there could be a complete shutdown, and if we do get infected in our place, I've actually been designated as one of the workers is going to be coming in to kind of take over. So there's three of us that are going to be there probably on rotating shifts for 24-hour days. Uh, so three-hour, eight-hour shifts, and we're going to have to rotate that some way. Hopefully we'll have a couple other people that are involved in this as well so that it's not such a drain on the, just the three of us. Um, so I've been sort of self-isolating while I'm at work, trying to stay away from the clients as much as I can, and doing the social distancing, anything outside of the place of work. And that's where I'm at. You know, it's been a very, very, very stressful three months. Uh, a lot of things have gone right, a lot of things have gone wrong, but I'm not complaining. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm living, and uh, fortunately or, or unfortunately, I don't know how you would want to weigh it, I am still working. So I have kind of an out, you know, I, I don't have to stay in my house, I have to actually go to work. Uh, but that's the unfortunate side is that because I'm at work and I'm not isolated, I don't get to see family or anything like that because uh, they're doing the same thing as me. So I just wanted to let you know that I am here, I am going to be releasing videos, but if it's not uh, on an exact schedule, just understand that during this time I'm going to be trying to release things as best as I can because I am still working and uh, I've got other things going on with the house, I'm getting a brand new roof done tomorrow. Uh, I'm redoing the basement still, so I never actually got to do that because I lost three days because of that jerk that stayed behind when he wasn't supposed to be here. And uh, I'm doing a bunch of yard work and stuff like that, so I'm really just trying to keep on the up and up on everything. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update just to let you know how things are going, how I'm doing, and more importantly, I want to make sure that you guys are okay. So if you are a sub, long time, short time, any time, no time, let me know how you're doing down in the comments below and uh, just say hey because it's nice to have some kind of interaction and uh, I'm going to see if I can maybe get into doing a live stream at least once a week and um, I don't know what day that'll be right now but most likely it'll be on a Saturday or a Sunday but again not sure because things are just pretty hectic around here right now and uh, I appreciate any love, support or anything else that you guys are doing for me you have and always will be amazing in my eyes i hope you guys have an amazing day and please stay safe and think of those around you before you go out and do anything stupid and in the words of philip defranco don't be stupid stupid and i'll cut to you guys next time take care very simple <laughs>